but I just have a lot of hope that it's, it's going to happen. A million dollar project needs some help getting off the ground tonight. A Utah mom hopes this area will become the spot that puts a smile on her precious daughter's face. It's called the All Together Playground, and it's aimed at including children of all play levels. It's something the Gleason family says they need, and it's something Orem City officials are trying to make happen. Seven-year-old Presley Gleason is like any other child. She plays with her sister, has an adventurous personality. Most confident little girl you'll ever meet in your life. Like, she is strutting her stuff in her chair. And loves to go on play dates. The only problem is that she can't play in her neighborhood park. It's just really hard to see your daughter want to, like, interact and play. And other kids want to play with her, too. But, you know, they're just not able to play alongside each other. Presley has spinal muscular atrophy with respiratory distress. It paralyzes her diaphragm and she suffers from low muscle tone. So her mom, Mindy, came up with an idea to put in a playground that children of all levels could enjoy. To be able to allow them to play with other children who are able-bodied and for other children to be able to see that they're just regular kids and they just want to play just like them, um, I just think it's beneficial for everyone. The biggest reason Presley wants it built? Because I want to make the plan for all my friends. The family took their idea to Orem City officials. To say the least, they loved it. There wasn't anybody in the room that heard the initial pitch that didn't say, let's make this happen and let's make it happen in Orem and let's make it happen as quick as we can. Stephen Down says the city is now working to make it a reality, turning City Center Park on Orem Center Street into this, the altogether playground, doubling the old one in size. In order to um, be accessible to children, specifically in wheelchairs, we can't use stairs and we have to use ramps, which requires a lot more space. There won't be wood chips. It'll be a poured in place rubber surface so that children won't get stuck in the wood chips. But the idea doesn't come cheap. He says it'll cost nearly $600,000 for the playground equipment, plus another four hundred and fifty dollars to remodel the bathrooms to make them more accessible. Mindy says getting to that million dollar mark will be a challenge, but she says she's confident it'll happen. I just have a lot of hope that it's, it's going to happen. The city put $150,000 towards this project. Mindy was able to raise a couple thousand more on a GoFundMe page. Many local organizations are pitching in with labor, but they still need help. Of course, we're, we're going to put that GoFundMe page on our KSL.com website so you can help out as well. Keith?